Hello everyone, welcome to another anatomy video. This is Dr. Ayan. In this video, we will talk about the anatomy of the equine liver and all associated structures. So let's get started. Here we have, um, we are inside the abdominal cavity of the horse. Just for your orientation, this is cranially here where we can see the xipoid process. The last part of the sternum here, this is the uh, intrathoracic part of the abdominal cavity. This is the diaphragm to separate the abdominal cavity from the thoracic cavity. Here we are inside the abdomen where we can see the internal organs of the abdomen. Um, just for your information, we removed the, the, um, the small and large intestine completely so that we can see the other organs, including the liver, the stomach, the spleen, kidneys there, and we will talk about the rest, you know, later. Um, here we will start with the liver. So the liver of the horse located cranially on the diaphragm as you can see here this is the diaphragm more to the right side so this is the right half of the abdominal cavity more to the right side okay it's located caudal to the diaphragm and on the liver normally we have the stomach which i will move and put it in its position later okay good the liver in the horse and because of its location is divided into four hepatic lobes four hepatic lobes the right hepatic lobe the quadrate hepatic lobe and we have the left hepatic lobe and finally we have the caudate hepatic lobe here in the horse the right hepatic lobe this one here this one here is not divided, is not divided into lateral and medial parts. So we have just the right hepatic lobe, not divided in the horse because it's located directly on the right side and, you know, doesn't really uh, affect it. Uh, by the movement of the stern, uh, of the diaphragm. So this is here the right hepatic lobe after that directly on the diaphragm here we have the quadrate lobe so this is here the quadrate lobe the quadrate lobe here and finally of course we have here the right uh, the left hepatic lobe the left hepatic lobe in the horse is divided into two parts this is the left lateral hepatic lobe here left lateral hepatic lobe and this is the left medial hepatic lobe okay so in general the liver has two services so this is here the parietal service of uh, the liver or the diaphragmatic service because it leads completely on the diaphragm the other service faces you know the uh, internal structures or organs inside the abdomen this is the visceral service of the liver okay again quickly so the liver of the horse has the right hepatic lobe the quadrate hepatic lobe and the left hepatic lobe divided into left lateral hepatic lobe and left medial hepatic lobe and the last hepatic lobe is the caudate lobe here in the horse we have so the caudate uh, hepatic lobe is divide, uh, divided into two processes in all, in all animals uh, into the papillary process and the caudate process in the horse here we don't have papillary process we don't have papillary process but we have the caudate process so this one here is the caudate process of the caudate lobe so this one here is the caudate process of the caudate lobe which uh, is in contact to the right kidney so this is here the right kidney i will show you the right kidney later 
So this is the right kidney here attached to the caudate process and that's why it forms on the caudate process what's called the renal impression, the renal impression. And here we will describe also that there is a ligament extends between the caudate process and the right kidney called the uh, hepatorenal ligament. This is the hepatorenal ligament here. The liver here in the horse is fixed in its position by several ligaments. The first and strong one is the ligament which, which attach the liver to the diaphragm here. So at, at the adhesion area, at the adhesion area exactly here and there called the coronary ligament of the liver. The coronary ligament of the liver. So it's a circular or round ligament there or called the coronary ligament of the liver extends or uh, between the, the diaphragm and the parietal uh, or the diaphragmatic surface of the liver. The next, uh, the next um, ligament is the triangular ligament. We have two triangular ligaments here in the horse. One on the left side, this is the left triangular ligament of the liver extends between the left lateral hepatic lobe to the diaphragm as you can see here this is the left the left what the left triangular ligament another one is located on the right side here extends between the right hepatic lobe and the, the diaphragm here this one here is the right uh, triangular ligament so we have the right triangular ligament here between the right hepatic lobe to the diaphragm or to the wall of the abdominal cavity here. The right triangular ligament. Okay, the next ligament uh, which we can see here is the ligament which we uh, you know, um, uh, cut here actually, the ligament which extends between the liver to the lesser curvature of the stomach called the, the hepatogastric ligament, hepatogastric ligament, this one here, which is part of the lesser omentum, lesser omentum, hepatogastric ligament. Okay, uh, finally, of course, we talked about the hepatorenal ligament, hepatorenal ligament, which extends between the caudate process to the right kidney, to the right kidney, hepatorenal ligament. And here we can see the falciform ligament, it's very clear here the falciform ligament extends as we learned as we learned between the quadrate hepatic lobe and the left medial uh, hepatic lobe this is here the falciform ligament starts from that area of the liver moves and adheres to the diaphragm as you can see here and moves uh, finally to the uh, uh, linea alba and finally to the umbilicus with the falciform ligament and at the free ends if you look exactly there we can see a white line here this structure here at the free end of the falciform ligament called the round ligament of the liver so this is the round ligament of the liver uh, originate from the same area of course here between the uh, left medial hepatic lobe and the quadrate hepatic lobe and move with the falciform ligament finally to the uh, umbilicus and just for your information the round ligament of the liver was before birth actually the umbilical vein but after birth of course there is no function of this uh, vein and it turns to ligament round ligament of the liver so this is the ligaments uh, which are there to fix the liver in its position. Finally, let's just uh, repeat. In the horse, there is no papillary process. There is no gallbladder. So if you look exactly here into the, this is this area here called the helos of the liver here, where we have the entrance of the hepatic uh, um, artery and the portal vein into the liver so the helos of the liver here so here in this area we cannot see the gallbladder so the gallbladder is absent in the horse no gallbladder no papillary process
Okay? This is what we can talk uh, or say about uh, the liver in the horse.